America has a new sports network, Fox Sports One. We're in New York City at the press conference to officially announce the first event of the Golden Boys Live series, which will be broadcast live on Fox Sports One. In the main event, Brooklyn's middleweight contender Danny Jacobs faces former world title challenger Giovanni Lorenzo. The co-main event showcases undefeated Eddie Gomez from the Bronx against welterweight prospect Steve Upshur Chambers. Other headliners are 2012 U.S. Olympian Marcus Brown from Staten Island and Brooklyn's bantamweight prospect Claude Staten Jr. The event takes place Monday, August 19th at the Best Buy Theater in Manhattan. It'll be broadcast live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, and it marks the first of a series of 24 fights from Golden Boy Live that'll take place across the country and aired on Fox Sports 1. All the way from Staten Island here, uh, Marcus Brown, Olympics. Uh, y you know, tell us a little bit about the journey. Uh, our journey, like from me meeting you at the 100 Days Out at oh, the Olympics. You know, okay, for, for our audience, we first met on 100 Days uh, leading up to the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You, you want to share with our audience a little bit about that experience? Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, that was outside in Times Square. This is inside, but that was outside. Um, now, I mean, the journey is a beautiful one. Um, of course, we didn't get any medals at the Olympics. Um, but now, you know, we're just focused on um, our professional career. I'm 5 and over five knockouts, and um, I'm just taking one fight at a time, you know, just taking my time, being patient, and working, growing. Five knockouts, so, so that's you have some power there. Yeah, that's for my opponent. You got to ask my opponents. Do I have power, my opponents? <laughs> I think five of them will, will, will agree that you do. Okay, cool. <laughs> or they, or they, would, they would be standing, right? You're right, you're right, yeah. Okay, so, hey, tell me a little bit now. Do you know about your opponent that you'll be fighting? Uh, Actually, on uh, Monday, August 19th, and hey, this is a first because this is Fox Sports. Uh, yeah, it's Fox Sports One. It's Fox Sports One. Yep. Um. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not sure about my opponent. We don't have one yet, but um, I'm actually training for anybody and anyone. I mean, I fought the best in the world on one day notice, back to back to back, in international competition. So I mean, this right here, you know, I'm, I'm at the level of my professional career where it's all about just getting the rounds and getting the experience. So. I mean, whoever they put in there with me, you know, I'm just going to do what I have to do with them. Now, I have always heard that someone like Mayweather always stays in shape, you mm -hmm. know, so that when it really comes time to train, he, he already is, Mayweather is in shape and, and, uh, and B-Hop. Yes, you know, I here. mean. I, and, and yourself, do you follow that uh, rule? I have to. I mean, I, I, I had no ch chance to get out of shape. I'm turn pro in November. I'm already at five fights, you know, so that's, that's like a, a, a fight. You know, every two months, uh, and, and I'm moving at a great pace. I'm happy w with the way I'm moving, and uh, I'm just, you know, blessed to be in a posi position that I'm in. And, and how tall are you? I'll say, I, I lie and say six two and a half, but I'm probably like six two. Okay, I, I see that. And, and in the, now, what weight class are you fighting in? Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight? Okay. Yeah, 175. But is that comfortable for you? Oh, yeah, of course. Any low, I'll be a. Uh, um, Pookie from New Jack City. You ever watch that movie? <laughs> I haven't seen that one, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to turn this over to St to Destino, and he's going to ask you a couple questions okay. here. Okay. Hey, great seeing you again. Hey, put him up there for me, all right? Hey, and and and, and good luck there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm um, uh, growing up in Staten Island was a beautiful thing. Um, how I got into boxing. A friend of mine named Nwachi Hartley that passed away in 2008. Um, I followed him to the gym. Excuse me, when I was 13 years old, and uh, the rest is history. I'm 23 now. Um, a, a decent amateur career. Um, topped it off with the Olympics. I um, didn't get no medals, but it is what it is. Now we're 5-0 as a pro. Um, turned pro in November, so it's like I'm moving on a, a one fight every two months basis, and um, we're staying busy. You're staying, you're staying busy to keep the punches flowing. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 knockouts. So, uh, they, uh, you feel that are you getting into the feel, and I'll be very careful, feel of the, every time I'm going to go in, I'm going to knock out the fighter, no. or you find your no. way, you, you mm -mm. find your way to hit him? Knock him um, we actually train hard. <laughs> it's funny, because we train so hard in the gym, um, go to rounds. I'm, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm there on fight night, I'm ready to go six, but um, unfortunately, I haven't been 
to six yet in the professional ranks. Right, right. Of course it's going to come. Yeah. And of course we're going to have to be ready for that test when it comes. But um, uh, until then, um, we're just going to keep, keep on doing what we're doing. <laughs> How do you train? In other words, uh, how, do I train? Uh, how, how many miles you run? How many uh, rounds you spar? Um, right? Stan, uh, yeah. You know, Staten Island is different from all these other boroughs because Staten Island is real hilly. So mm -hmm. that's to my advantage. Mm -hmm. And I run 6.5. Um, I got my trail. Um, mm -hmm. But when it comes to training, um, I'm going to quote my, one, of my, one, of my, one of my good friends, um, Glenn Tapia from Jersey. Oh, Tapia, yeah. Yeah, he told me... Um, Train like when, when when you're training, make sure you're near death. <laughs> yeah. So so when I train, you know, I make sure like I'm 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 dead tired. And you push yourself. Exactly. And you push yourself just a little bit more that day, so you can you know be able to get a little bit stronger and keep growing by the, as the days progress. You, you, you remind me of of of, uh, of a saying. You know, Floyd, if I said Floyd Mayweather is always talking, saying things, but he says something profound the other day. He says that boxing is not a nine to five job; it's nine to uh, is twenty four seven. And this you is gotta, what you got to do. Gotta, you got to eat boxing, dream boxing, live boxing, sh boxing, and uh, that's that's all I do. I mean, even when, like I'm walking on the street and I'm shadow boxing. People <laughs> think I'm crazy. I'll be on the ferry, freaking shadow boxing. <laughs> People think I'm crazy, but I mean, it is what it is. Like I take my I take my job everywhere with me. I could be in a mall. I could be at a at a business meeting. I'll be throwing punches. I don't care. It don't matter because I take this job with me everywhere I go. Seriously. Yep. You're five and zero now. Nineteen. You're six and zero. Uh, have you? It's difficult, but and you never look past an opponent, of course. Mm -hmm. But have you in your leisure at home, just before you fall asleep? I said, you know, who who would I like to fight? in the future as I go along and oh, how oh, yeah, will I be ready? I'm, I'm, I'm a boxing fanatic, so I, I mean, I watch boxing, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I look at guys. I look at guys now that are at the top that I know that, I mean, I know I could, I could beat, but I mean, it's not my time yet, and I'm not in no rush, you know? Everything takes time, and timing is everything. And I'm 22 years old, and when I get a title, I don't want to just have it for one time and one defense only. When I get a title, I want to keep it for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. honestly, because all right, because it is I'm not, difficult I'm not, to. Yeah. It's easier to win than to and then to keep it. Mm -hmm. So, Marcus Ross, God bless you. God bless you guys too. And uh, August nineteenth, you're gonna put a rock and sock him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to work, man. I tell you that. Three more weeks. Three more God bless you. Weeks. Three more weeks, Marcus Brown. August nineteenth on Monday at Best Buy, and this is the Crystal Heart Show with. The Steve Lois Jr. God bless everybody.